Howdy everyone, it's David Ryan from Huckleberry Soaps, and it's been a while since I've spoken or posted anything anywhere, so um, I'm just going to do a quick update video before I start getting back into making soap. Um, I did actually make some a video, and I just haven't finished editing it yet, so that'll come up after this, but... Um, as you can see, I'm in a totally different location. Uh, I actually have a, my own room now. Um, I've moved from Texas to Indiana because um, my dad's been having some health problems and mom needed help around the house, so I moved from Austin to um, where I live now in Indiana. And um, past few weeks, I've worked at a uh, as a lube tech at a dealership and. Uh, starting Tuesday, I'm actually going to start working as an electrician's helper, um, pursuing an electrician's apprenticeship. And um, I did, like I said, I did make some soap. I did make a batch of soap when I first got up here. Um, but I haven't edited that video. I actually made an update video then, but I thought it would be a bit better to just do another one. To give a bit more of an update since it's been even longer than that so um but yeah i've moved up to indiana and i'm i've got two plans for two soaps uh coming up one of them is i'm going to i, I found that i had an extra bottle of the orange soda pop from when i did the royalty soaps initial project so i'm just going to um, use that because I'm kind of coming up to the expiration date on some of these, so I, I really need to use them. And then my other idea is I'm going to do a um, green tea and ginger patchouli one. I um, I'm, I just ordered a um, mini scale from Amazon that can do small amounts of things because the one that I have doesn't work very well. And is too small to really hold my dishes that I um, put things in. So that's going to happen. I'm going to get that tomorrow, hopefully, and do my calculations and get these two. And, um, you know, yeah, just get things. I'm going to go ahead and do some three-pound batches because I'm there's a place around here I can actually um, rent a storefront, uh, some store space, and sell. So I'm looking forward to trying out to see if I can manage that. But... You know, that will obviously be in about a month and a half, two months from once I actually get it done. Because curing time is fun. Um, well, I guess I could do some hot process just to get some ready that I could sell immediately. But, um, but yeah, um, I've got some plans in the works. I, I'm not sure how my schedule is going to be with my new job, but hopefully it's not going to be as exhausting as um, uh, doing uh, oil changes and tie rotations. So hopefully I have more energy to actually get the stuff done. And uh, I'm, I'm not giving, this is not something I'm gonna be giving up. I do plan on continuing. I know for a fact I'm not going to get all of my goals done that I set out last year, to, but I've also had a pretty major um, life change happen. So I'm not really, concerned about I'm not going to feel bad if I don't get my goal this year um I will just uh, repackage what I didn't get done this year into next year's goal and I'll move on from there um but yeah uh for those wondering my dad uh is actually doing a little bit better from when I first got here uh, he's got a pacemaker and he's feeling a whole lot better he's just having can't move his arm much just uh, until his uh, heart heals up and everything and uh, but we're uh, so things have gone good since I've been th in that regard since I've got back um, but yeah uh, those are my ideas this is where I am now uh, the other cool thing is and you'll see this in my video that I've done um, my dad's letting me use his workshop in the garage which is a lot better than the porch at my old apartment because a lot less blows in that I have to worry about getting in my oils and stuff. And it's also a lot cooler up here because it is currently triple digits in Austin. And I think it's only gotten up to 90 a few times here. So that's much appreciated. But um, 
winter's going to be extra fun. Um, so hopefully, uh, maybe I'll take winter off if I can get enough done and, uh, or maybe I'll just do melt and pour stuff during the winter just because, um, temperature and everything, but who knows? Maybe, I mean, well, no, I won't know until uh, it happens. So thanks for watching. I apologize for not posting anything anywhere. I've just been really busy, really exhausted, and I'm looking forward to getting back into this because um, it's fun. I like doing it. And um, if any of y'all would be interested in buying soap for me, um, my commission links are currently open. Uh, they will be in the description below. And all you have to do is choose whether you want a melt and pour project or a cold process. Of course, a cold process commission will take about a month and a half just because it, um, of curing time. Uh, I'm not comfortable doing hot process enough to add hot process commissions yet, um, though those would take significantly shorter to get out. So if any of y'all are within the continent of the U.S. and would like to order soap from me, um, hit me up. Uh, make sure you use a good email so I can contact you. Um, just uh, And uh, we'll uh, get the details ironed out once I get your order. So um, I hope to get, and I will be getting up a new video within the next week that I did right after I got here. And so look forward to that and look forward to my new soaps coming out in the future. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.